Hi, I'm James Trammell, a senior PM at Microsoft on the Visual Studio team. In this session, we'll be talking about our Visual Studio subscriptions. Developers have a lot on their plates, from front end to back end and everything in between. Whether full stack, small stack, polyglot, or framework maven, we target containers, serverless compute, cloud, or any imaginable device with code for AR, VR, voice, cognition, API, web, or countless others. Our mission with Visual Studio is to provide the best-in-class tools that can be used by any developer. Today, the Visual Studio brand now stands for so much more. The core of our vision is any developer, any app, on any platform. Over the past few years, we have really expanded the product family to match this vision. Now, we have an IDE for both Windows and Mac, Visual Studio Code, our cross-platform lightweight code editor, and developer services like Azure DevOps and App Center to complement your IDEs and editors and complete the full application lifecycle. Whether you're developing for Windows or Linux, Android or iOS, cloud or device, we have the tools to make you successful. Visual Studio Benefits are a one-stop shop for all your developer needs. They include developer tools and services, Azure Access, dev and test software, training, and support. Let's dig a little deeper at each one of these services. Developer tools and services provide access to the Visual Studio IDE, Azure DevOps services, App Center, and much more. Write code, share code, track work, and ship software for any language, all in a single package. Subscribers receive free credits to Azure services, plus discounted dev and test rates, and exclusive access to pre-configured virtual machine image galleries. Not to mention services like Azure Advisory Chat, your personalized cloud consultant, and our EMS suite. Subscribers can also take their skills to the next level with world-class technical and professional training on the latest trends and technologies across platforms. Rely on technical experts to help you solve, solve issues and answer questions. Subscribers can access core Microsoft software with simple per-user licensing, enable them to install and use software as much as they need for their development projects. A significant part of technology spend is on dev and test workloads, which can sometimes be more than 50% of a data center. Dev test demands are variable in terms of when, how much, and what type you need. Today you have five new projects, but later you abandon half when you've already invested infrastructure for those five projects. This factor, variability, is a big reason why dev and test on Azure makes sense. With Azure, you don't have to worry about over or under resourcing at any time, and you can thus eliminate waste. Azure is uniquely positioned to address these variable infrastructure needs and at the same time provide for a robust development platform through the following. Tools. When it comes to tooling, bringing dev and test from your existing data centers to Azure is easy. Our support for tooling is consistent across on-prem, in your data center or an Azure stack, in the cloud, Azure, or both. Labs. What's the value about Azure Lab Services? Fast provisioning and decommissioning of infrastructure, automation and self-service in the use and management of resources, cost control and governance from scheduled startups and shutdowns, lab budgets, and policies that curb resource sprawl. DevOps. DevOps is a practice that is born in the cloud. Using Azure DevOps as a tool to facilitate delivery along with App Center, Azure Security, diagnostic and monitoring services will help accelerate your DevOps journey. Offers. There are several Azure offers that are only available to Visual Studio subscribers that can help make operating dev and tests on Azure a budget-friendly decision. Offers include Azure Credits, our Enterprise Dev Test Offer, and Pay-As-You-Go Dev Test Offer. No other hyperscale cloud provider offers you a service like these. Let's dig a little more into these offers. There are different offer types for different needs. First is monthly Azure Credits. If you're an individual developer and would like to learn and experiment in Azure, you have the monthly Azure credits as part of your Visual Studio subscription. 
Depending on your subscription type, your credit amount varies. The monthly credit has a spending limit, so it's great and a safe way to learn and skill up on Azure without overspending. We help ease the cost burden with Azure pricing discounts as well, all included. Next is Enterprise Dev Test. If you're an enterprise customer and are looking to use Azure for a team development scenario, then we have the EA Dev Test offer. This is part of your organization's Azure billing and provides visibility and full role-based access control under your enterprise Azure enrollment while including discounts for non-production workloads. Lastly, we have Pay-As-You-Go, which is great for teams in smaller organizations with credit card billing, but still including the discounted pricing. Key highlights for all these offers are no additional software charges, access to VM gallery, including Windows 10 VMs, no financially backed SLAs, as is for non-production, and lower rates on a variety of services. Now, let's look at what the dev test pricing looks like. So, to take a look at dev test pricing, one thing you can do is go to our Azure pricing calculator at azure.microsoft.com slash pricing slash calculator. If you look here, there are a lot of options in Azure. Let's just pick one and see what dev test pricing looks like. I'll select our app service. Once I click App Service, notice it's added, and I can view it a little further down on the page. Notice it has all the pricing I would expect for an Azure production workload for an Azure App Service, about $55. But notice this little toggle right here that shows dev test pricing. If I click this toggle, notice the price drops significantly to $32.12. I can go back and forth to see what this looks like to understand exactly what my discounted rates might look like. Notice I get these Azure Dev Test rates for not only my monthly credits, but also the AA Dev Test pricing and Azure Pay As You Go Dev Test. Now, let's take a closer look at our four main SKUs of the Visual Studio subscription family. First is the Visual Studio Professional subscription with a variety of developer tools and services. Next, Visual Studio Enterprise subscription, an upgrade from professional for developers looking for maximum productivity and coordination. Next, Visual Studio MSDN platforms, which offer subscription cloud services, software, support, and training. And lastly, Visual Studio Test Professional subscription, a specialized tool set for testers to plan, execute, and track your testing efforts. The subscriber benefits are many and vast, more than I've discussed here. Thank you very much for watching. Please visit visualstudio.com slash subscriptions to learn more.